Welcome back to another Mobile Centrix Tips and Tricks. My name is Derek, and today I'm going to be showing you a full teardown of the Apple Watch Ultra. It's definitely the most difficult of all of the Apple Watches to open, so I think you're going to enjoy this one. Let's get into the video. The Apple Watch Ultra, the first of its kind to feature a flat glass, and also the first to have exterior screws. As someone that repairs watches frequently, this got me pretty excited because I thought it meant for easier repairability, but boy was I wrong. But this beefy exterior definitely means that this watch is not going to break as easy. The back screws are removed using a P5 screw bit. Carefully remove all four of the screws. Each one has its own little rubber gasket. Opening this is pretty straightforward. With a simple pry tool, I'll be able to get under and start to break the seal that this back has to the frame. Carefully working my tool around the edge popping that seal as I go, making it release. Be careful though, once it's removed because these little buttons and their springs will go flying. And you can see just how small they are. Now we can pop off the back and with a little tool we can pop the connector and now we can set aside the back piece and this is where I was starting to get excited using a Y triple zero we'll take out the screws on the back as I was hopeful that this would allow me to get inside the watch to any degree really but it's basically pointless there is really no getting under there as everything's on the other side. There's a half a dozen flex cables that are soldered to the other side of the board and they're pinned with screws against the internal frame. As you can see, opening up the back really doesn't get us anywhere. That being said, if the back breaks, it is easy to replace compared to previous models where a full teardown was required just to get to the screws that held the back on, making this a much easier repair. But when it comes to removing the screen, that's when things get tricky. I myself have opened thousands of Apple Watches, so I have tips and tricks to open up these watches really fast. However, this is my first time opening up an Apple Watch Ultra. And I noticed in other videos that I saw, for example, this one by iFixit, that they were unsuccessful at removing the screen without damaging it. You're gonna be looking at a screen replacement. I'm gonna put the watch on a heating mat for a few minutes. Look at that, it's baked. Probably a good indication it's time to start prying. The combo of flat glass and squared off corners means I can't get under the glass even with this thin metal tool. And the screen broke, son of a. This miserable screen removal process is bad news for anyone who cracks their display. The prying angle definitely makes it easy to separate the layers of the OLED. After seeing how easy it was to damage, my goal is obviously to remove the display without damaging it. I spent the next half hour doing everything that I could to get the screen to come up without damaging it, and boy was it tricky. But in the last minute, I figured it out. Now I can get a screen off an Apple Watch Ultra in under a minute without damaging the display. If this video gets to 1000 likes, I'm going to show in detail how I do that, and I might even show how to replace the glass only on an Apple Watch Ultra. Back to the video. Now that I've gotten the display off, you can see that it is still working, surprisingly. Every portion of the display is functional along with the touch, and it's still looking good. But in order to disconnect the display, we have to remove the battery. So we've got one, two, three, and a fourth screw that's kind of hidden in between a bracket that comes out with it when you unscrew it. Now we can carefully pull up the battery, which has no adhesive, 
and a single connector to pop it loose. I do like the design of this new battery being bigger, holding more charge. Now we have two screws that hold down the single connector for this entire display. We'll take out those two screws and remove the bracket. This will allow us to pop the connector for the display. There are two more screws that we have to get at to remove the Taptic engine, along with three connectors, two being coax connectors and another Lego style connector. There's the Taptic engine. Now we've got a variety of screws holding down this microphone and that. couple flex cables here and there that we need to loosen up along with a bunch of different brackets to keep organized. As we release every component that's being held to the frame. A couple having adhesive that hold it in and others several hidden screws and don't lose them if they go flying. And pop out all the different microphones. Now we can pull out the last set of flex cables that are holding the motherboard to the frame and it'll fall through the back. And there is the motherboard in all of its glory. Something I found interesting in this model is the screws holding in the loudspeaker are accessed through the back. They can't be accessed because of the angle from the top of the, of the watch. And there I'm going to leave the rest of the components here on the inside as they're a little tricky to get out, making it less repairable than previous models. But I really like the look of this watch. The inside is just as interesting as the outside. So there you go, a full teardown of the Apple Watch Ultra. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already for future videos like this. Thanks a ton for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.